Have you ever wondered how these financial instruments work and how insurance companies make their money from them? Well, you're about to uncover the secrets that make annuities tick, and it's not as mysterious as you might think. Stay tuned, because by the time we're done, you'll have a clear understanding of how annuities function and how insurance companies turn a profit while providing financial security. We'll shatter common misconceptions, delve into income benefit riders, compare insurance companies to banks, and demystify those surrender charges. You'll see the intricate dance between annuity holders and insurance companies, making informed financial decisions a piece of cake. So let's dive right into the world of annuities. The Annuity Universe Let's kick things off by delving into the vast and fascinating annuity universe. Just like the vastness of space with its myriad of stars and galaxies, the world of annuities is equally diverse. You see, annuities come in different flavors, each with its unique characteristics and quirks. It's a bit like exploring a cosmic safari and you're the adventurer. There are fixed annuities, variable annuities, and indexed annuities. Each of them serves a specific purpose and offers distinct benefits. Now let's zoom in on fixed annuities. These are like the dependable stars in the annuity universe. When you invest in a fixed annuity, your principal is safe and sound. It's a bit like having a financial safety net. Insurance companies take the money you entrust to them and invest it in steady, reliable bonds. In return, you get a share of the interest earned while they keep a portion for themselves. It's a win-win scenario with both you and the insurance company benefiting. On the other hand, Indexed annuities are the intriguing planets in this cosmic annuity galaxy. They were designed to compete with the returns you'd typically get from a Certificate of Deposit CD. Think of them as the adventurous explorers of the annuity world. Indexed annuities offer a tantalizing proposition, the potential for market gains with absolutely no risk of market losses. It's like having your cake and eating it too. The insurance companies take your money and invest it in an index option. They don't profit from buying these options. Instead, they transfer the risk to large investment banks. So your money is working for you and they're taking on the risk. It's a carefully calculated game and we'll explore it in more detail as we go along in this video. So you see, the annuity universe is not a monolithic entity. It's a diverse and dynamic space with options tailored to different needs and risk appetites. Whether you're drawn to the reliability of fixed annuities or the potential upside of indexed annuities. There's a place for you in this cosmic annuity journey. Unpacking indexed annuities. Let's take a closer look at indexed annuities, those intriguing planets in the annuity galaxy. These annuities were created with a specific purpose in mind, to compete with the returns you typically get from a certificate of deposit, CD. It's like they were engineered to provide a financial adventure in a safe and controlled manner. Indexed annuities offer a tantalizing proposition, the potential for market gains with no risk of market losses. It's like walking on a tightrope with a safety net below you. The insurance companies take your hard-earned money and invest it in an index option. But here's the key point. They don't make money from buying these options. Instead, they transfer the risk to large investment banks, like a skilled relay race. So, you might wonder, how exactly does this work? Well, it's all about taking calculated bets. The insurance companies are placing a wager saying, we believe this index is going up, and they put your money on that belief. If the index does indeed rise, you get to lock in those gains with a limit. If it doesn't, you're protected from the downside. It's a bit like having a financial safety harness as you navigate the twists and turns of the market. But remember, they aren't hitting the jackpot with your money. It's more like hitting singles consistently rather than swinging for home runs. In the world of indexed annuities, the name of the game is reliability and gradual growth, not risky leaps and bounds. So as we continue our journey through the annuity universe, Keep in mind that indexed annuities are like the planets of steady potential in this financial galaxy. If you like our video so far, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Common Misconceptions Now let's address some common misconceptions about how insurance companies profit from indexed annuities. 
It's not uncommon for these misconceptions to cloud the understanding of these financial instruments, so let's clear the cosmic dust. First and foremost, it's essential to know that insurance companies don't profit from buying the index options. The process isn't about them making a quick buck from picking the right stocks or indices. They are not stock market wizards. Instead, they transfer the risk to large investment banks, who are the ones taking on the market's twists and turns. Another misconception often heard is that the carriers make money on the index option participation. This is also a common misconception. The carriers aren't making money from the performance of the index option. Their interest lies in providing a secure and reliable financial product for you. They aren't taking the gains you might earn from market performance. Those gains are yours to keep. And then there's the idea that carriers pocket the difference between the caps and the spreads. That's not how it works. The limitations in place are not meant to act as profit centers for the insurance companies. In reality, the caps and limitations are set based on the fixed nature of indexed annuities. The insurance companies have allocated a certain amount of money for the option, and those limitations reflect the maximum they can secure while safeguarding your principal. They are not skimming off the top. Rather, they are ensuring that your investment remains secure while offering the potential for growth. In the cosmic landscape of annuities, understanding these truths helps to navigate the universe of indexed annuities with confidence and clarity. The Income Benefit Rider now, let's discuss the Income Benefit Rider, a powerful tool in the Annuity Toolkit. This rider can be compared to a spacecraft designed to transport you safely through the financial cosmos while ensuring you have a comfortable journey ahead. At the time of application for most indexed annuities, you have the option to attach an Income Benefit Rider. This rider promises future income guarantees. In essence, it's like reserving a seat on a spaceship for your future self ensuring a steady stream of income down the line. When you opt for this rider, you're giving the insurance company more time to work with your money. It's not a grab-and-go scenario, it's a long-term commitment to financial security. The insurance company will keep your funds invested, and as a result, they have a longer period to generate returns. This is where they make their incremental profits, like collecting cosmic dust over time. So, think of it as a dual benefit. You secure a future income stream for yourself, and the insurance company benefits from the extended investment period. It's a symbiotic relationship, where both parties gain from the arrangement. Your financial future is secured, and the insurance company has a prolonged opportunity to work with your funds and create value over time. Insurance Companies versus Banks Let's draw a comparison between insurance companies and banks, two significant players in the financial universe, each with its own distinct approach to handling your money. Insurance companies, as it turns out, are more regulated than banks. When you invest in a fixed annuity with an insurance company, they are required to invest your money in bonds. These are safe, stable investments that don't take wild risks. It's like a stringent cosmic rule that ensures your principal remains secure in their hands. Banks, on the other hand, often engage in riskier financial activities. They might use your funds for a variety of investments, some of which are far from secure. It's like comparing two spacecraft, one designed for a smooth, predictable journey, and the other, well, more of a thrilling roller coaster ride through financial space. The regulatory environment around insurance companies keeps your money protected, ensuring they use it responsibly and with a focus on stability. It's like having a carefully planned trajectory for your financial journey, free from unexpected cosmic turbulence. Surrender charges and long-term play. Now, let's discuss surrender charges and why they might seem high in the early years of an annuity. It's like examining the launch phase of a space mission. There are considerable costs and preparations involved. In the initial years of an annuity, surrender charges can be on the higher side. This might raise questions like, why are they taking so much in the early stages? Well, there's a reason behind it. It's not about the insurance company being greedy, it's about covering upfront costs. 
Annuities come with commissions for agents, administrative expenses, and other associated costs. Additionally, the insurance company has invested in the options that underpin your annuity. These upfront expenses need to be recouped, and that's why surrender charges are higher initially. Think of it as the cost of building a reliable spacecraft for your financial journey. So, it's a long-term play for the insurance companies as well. They are focused on the marathon, not the sprint. Over time, as your annuity matures, surrender charges decrease and your investment continues to grow. The aim is to provide you with a solid financial vehicle for the long haul, like a spacecraft designed for an extended cosmic journey. In the annuity universe, understanding the reasoning behind these charges helps you appreciate the long-term benefits that these financial instruments can offer. It's like recognizing that space missions require substantial investments for the ultimate goal of exploration and discovery. Now, we've journeyed through the annuity universe, discovering how insurance companies profit from these financial instruments. We've learned that they don't make money from buying index options, but instead, they transfer the risk to large banks. We debunked common misconceptions, emphasizing that insurance companies aren't pocketing your gains, but rather providing secure opportunities. We discovered the powerful income benefit rider, ensuring both your future income and the insurer's long-term profits. By comparing insurance companies to banks, we highlighted the disciplined approach of annuity providers, ensuring the safety of your principal. Surrender charges were unveiled as part of a long-term play, securing your financial future. This journey clarifies the symbiotic relationship between insurance companies and annuity holders, offering financial security and steady growth. So, how will you start your own relationship? Well, the choice is yours, but this video is here to help you make it wisely. If you found this video informative, please hit the like button and subscribe for more financial insights. Stay tuned and let's unlock the secrets to getting rich together.